Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. You made another week, so welcome to the Ranger Week in Review, the show that goes over everything that happened in World of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. I am Liz. This week, big things. Uh, Lord Zed apparently is returning. I don't know. It has to do the Halloween episode for Dino Fury, so we're definitely going to be talking about that. Ninjetti Lightning Collection, Saber Ending, Revice, right around the corner. Uh, giveaway, celebrate four years of my channels coming up very soon, and an update on Ryuki and Zero One. Yeah, those DVDs we were told that are on the way, little update as to where those are. All that and more, grab a drink, guys, kick back and relax, because the Ranger Week in Review is starting right now. Hey again, I'm Ranger Liz, and on this show we're talking Power Rangers, then we go to Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Ultraman, and then various Toku, which is Spider-Man this week. Uh, follow along down below, or the card, subscribe, bell notification, all that jazz. Let's just get to Power Ranger news. We gotta start with Dino Fury, our current show. It is in hiatus right now in the U.S., but over in France, they're going to be starting to get them early. That's right, the hiatuses that usually get interrupted because another country is going to get everything first. Yada yada, I'm American, I'm spoiled. Yeah, so here we go. Lord Zed, what the crap is going on? This has been translated from French. So on September 8th, it's going to be episode 14 of Dino Fury, and it's going to be called Not Even Scared. It's Halloween time. The Rangers prepare their costumes. Ollie makes his friends believe that he is scared of nothing. But is he that brave? When Lord Zed shows up in the woods where he's supposed to meet his friends, he's a bit scared. I like it's like da-da-da. He's a bit scared. What? What? The, understandably, because Lord Zed's mission is to, rid, uh, is to get rid of the Power Rangers. What? It's a Halloween episode, so I I don't know. I mean, I don't even think... Is there the Lord Zed suit? Like, is it still in okay condition? Like, how is this going to be happening? I don't know, but the, the, I don't want to say, like, the big upwork, because it wasn't. But I just saw a few people, like, how is this going to work? Are they going to use old sound clips or whatever? Because, unfortunately, you know, God rest his soul, Robert Axelrod is no longer with us. So the voice actor of Lord Zed is dead. And yet, uh, I, man, put your comment, put your theories and whatnot. Let me know what you guys think. But we're going to be finding out really soon on September 8th or maybe late on the 7th. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked at time zones or anything for when it's airing in France. But yeah, and then once it starts getting out over there, we'll start getting uh, spoiler spoilers. And that's just, that's just how it goes. But let me know what you think about Lord Zed coming back for this. I am... All, I'm, I'm just stunned and confused, so let me have it. Moving over to some gaming news. Uh, Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, new scenario for you. Power Hungry. Ernie's Juice Bar is holding an eating contest. Terror Toad and Pudgy Pig have decided to take this chance to prove which of them is the true head honcho of Hungry. The yes! Yes, 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 yes. They'll eat anything and everyone to prove who's the best, but the most points go to the monster who eats the most delectable energy of all, that of the Power Rangers. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And of course, remember, all these scenarios are free. It'll let you know what you need. Uh, it's usually just the base game and like one or two maybe different expansion packs, but yeah, that, that looks like a lot of fun. Don't forget, this is coming up, it's actually next week, but since, you know, the show airs on Friday and this, some of the stuff's happening like Friday night, I just want to make sure you get the, the good, good heads up. Renegade Con is also happening the weekend of Power Ranger Day. It's the 28th of this month, National Power Rangers Day. That weekend is Ranger Stop and Pop. It's also Renegade Con, and they're going to be debuting the Power Ranger RPG in the new show. Obviously, this looks like a lot of fun to me. I'm going to try my best to, to get parts of it, to get to watch it or some. But here's the big thing. If you're a fan of the RPG uh, idea and wanting like, I want more information on the game, they're using the game. So if you're wanting more information about the game, pop on in. You can watch it in real time, how it's being played. I cannot wait to get to see it. More links and stuff to Renegade Con will be below, and I'll have to, of course, I'll be reminding you next week. Bell notification, subscribe, you you know, all of that. Uh, we're moving over to some merch news. Apparently for Power Month, uh, somebody heard Mighty Morphin or Bust, and they went, another Mighty Morphin Bust? Okay, here we go, we got another one. Diamond Select, MMPR, Red, 
bust. Uh, this guy is going to be a 10 inch bust. I, we're probably going to be getting even more because it just says like this time it's the Red Ranger. So I don't know if we're going to get more uh, or whatever. But here's the Red Ranger. This thing is going to run you $175 first quarter of 2022. So you know, imagine before July or whatever. It's detailed. It's very detailed. Uh, it's 10 inch bust featuring detailed sculpting and paint application sits atop a detailed pedestal base. Limited to only 1,000, also comes packaged in a full color box with a numbered certificate of authenticity. So, if you want to get in, I have actually seen, I'm not sure if it was Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth, but one of them is literally already sold out of the pre orders. So, it is limited to 1,000. If you are interested in it, get a look on it because I have no idea how long it's actually going to last. But at this rate, if you miss out on it, another bus will be on its way in probably another seven months. How about some stuff that's also going to be on the way? This time, I'm excited. I was excited for the Jinjetti. I say I really want these guys, but I know that, honestly, I probably won't get them. I might get the Pink Ranger one, but that's going to be about it. But Ninja Black and Ninja Blue, and these guys look awesome. The faces, the just... The fact of the Ninjetti, it looked really cool. And so then, of course, remember back when it was like, hey, here's a tease of whatever. And you're like, oh, it's Ninjetti. Like, awesome. Of course, we all joked there's just going to be Tommy. But it's not technically the 100th figure in the Lightning Collection line is Ninjetti Billy. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. You might not be happy on how you're going to have to get them because they're exclusive to Target. Whoa. Hey, I saw that. Don't, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, yeah, so they're gonna be a Target exclusive, price of $26.49. I'll have some links below. Uh, you can go check them out, you can get your pre-orders in and everything. I haven't heard the pre-orders are sold out. So that's a really good sign, but who knows as of right now. But get, um, I really love the suits. I probably will be getting the Pink Ranger one, maybe the White Ranger one, but the other ones are just like, sorry man, the wallet says, I gotta save this for something else. Before we get to Toku news, I'm actually going to give you a quick channel update. My channel is going to be turning four years old next Saturday. So a week from tomorrow, if you're watching this today post, my channel is going to be four years old. And I don't really have a uh, anything like big plan, but I would, however. Uh, I'm planning on live streaming that night, so if you'd like to come hang out, we're going to chat. Uh, my friends don't know this yet, but I'm going to ask to see if people want to come in hang out uh we're, just, we're also gonna be celebrating because it's national power rangers day so we're just gonna be talking about power rangers having a bunch of fun maybe we'll play some games but i'd love it to be uh, a neat hangout where people can come celebrate national power rangers day together and uh you know also celebrate four years of my channel and i will give you a full uh, more stuff i'm doing a giveaway and i'll tell you about that at the very end but thank you guys so much for being here for almost four years i've been doing this and i'm glad you guys are all still here hearing me yap on about ranger news and stuff every friday uh there uh, now that i've gotten that out of the way um <clears throat> let's talk some toku news we're gonna start with common rider saber it's almost over revise remember is coming out on the Bit. So if you want to see uh, the preview and stuff for Revice, we got the first TV ad because of course we've got to be building up that hype for its release. Again, that is September 5th. Let's switch on to Kamen Rider 4's 10th anniversary special is in the works. So uh, there was an episode of Superhero in Charbon Cooking where they make like they were making this uh, Four's bento box, which of course looks really really cool. Um, but they while they were making it, they uh, they revealed they're going to be having a 10th anniversary special and just that it's being worked on. So, of course, no other details or anything, but hey, I, I know a lot of people really like fours and I'm, I'm really happy that they can have this uh, this opportunity. Uh, but I do have to say, apparently, like one guy went uh, has retired from acting and one chick like went religion crazy or something. So, hey, you know, more screen time for the other people that are still in showbiz that want to be back for the 10 years after, right? Right, 10 year anniversary. It's not the 10 years after, this isn't Sendai. It's Ryder. 
Kamen Rider is a hero to a lot of people, and this story might uh, hit home for a few more of you viewers out there. Kamen Rider Zero One's Satsuki Nakayama comes out as transgender. Satsuki Nakayama is known for his role in Kamen Rider Zero One as the human gear Naki. Naki, uh, at the time, they were identifying as non-binary and everything, but now fully saying they are going to be a male, uh, as a transgender male, and asexual, which means they have no sexual att attractions or anything. Uh, but just after holding it in for so long and everything, uh, just they feel good. He feels good about getting it out and uh, is actually doing a photo essay to get rid of some of the stigma of like this this is what an asexual person looks like. So uh, they said, I think I've always been afraid of telling the people around me because it seemed like I was forcing my ideals on them, but I finally made up my mind to live my life in my own way without covering up my feelings. Nice to meet you, Satsuki. And I'm sure we'll probably see you in another thing, Kamen Rider Naki. So, see you later, bro. Let's get that update, though, on Kamen Rider Zero One, the DVD, right? So, we got an update from Tokushoutsu just saying that they are getting subtitles made for both. So, this pushed back Ryuki a little bit. As long as everything runs on schedule, the current plan is to have Ryuki on Tokushoutsu in November. Zero one in January, so wouldn't quite make wouldn't, wouldn't cry, quite blah, blah, wouldn't quite make the Christmas list, but you know it's in there just the same. Uh, physical pre-orders for zero one will be alive this fall, and an official press release will go out when it's ready. But Tokushoutsu knows we we'd heard about it a while back, and it's been a while, and so we've all kind of wondering. So it's really nice for them to just reach out and say, look, you know, this is where it is right now. Uh, we want these shows live as soon as possible, but we also need to maintain the quality you've come to expect from us. Uh, be on the lookout for some more announcements before the year is over. In Sentai news, in Kaiser vs. Gal Ranger, that special battle stage, we did get a promo for it. It's going to be running August 1st to November 3rd, so since it'll be up for a while, I'm sure we'll definitely get a lot of, like, videos and pics and whatever. This is actually produced by Gal Black, so he is the one who did all of this. The event's going to feature a group of space bandits that have defeated the Zenkaisers. Uh, that said, the first Super Sentai of the 21st century, the Gal Rangers appear. Are they enemies or friends? More information and pictures and everything down below. Someone you're not going to be seeing is Tatsuisa Suzuki. Uh, is going to be announcing his hiatus from the entertainment industry. Normally, I don't really talk about entertainment industry, like hiatuses and whatever. This one's a bit interesting, though, because he's doing the voice of Geji. Like, the, the evil parrot dude in the show. So you're like, whoa, what, you know, what's gonna happen? And then, of course, you go on to read that he's actually taking a break, uh, taking hiatus due to his poor health conditions. Uh, they didn't, you know, say, elaborate anything more like that. So I'm just like, man, uh, thoughts and prayers. Like, I hope... You come out of this okay. Uh, he also is going to be a part of the uh, Ultraman, uh, the Netflix Ultraman, as the voice of Ultraman Taro. So, yeah, he has like stuff going on right now, and the fact that he is taking a break uh, due to his health is just, man, we really hope you make it out okay. Get well soon so you can go to the Super Sentai Spirits 2021. Ah, oh, I love, I love these things. It is where the performers who are performing the theme songs of the shows are the actual people who are doing it. So it's going to be happening November 6th and November 7th. If you want to watch it, uh, just to live stream it, that's going to be about 4,000 yen. Uh, if you want to actually go, which I mean, could look right now, but that's 9,000 yen. Uh, it's going to be a two day event, as I said earlier, but two different shows so if you're looking for i really want to watch gal rangers theme and this and that you can actually look at the titles of the performers so make your decision before you drop the dough but if you'd like to get in on that i love i mean i admittedly kind of watch the videos from wherever they float around and it, they look like a lot of fun uh, let's go to Ultraman. We got Ultraman Trigger, just a little bit of it. The uh, Guts Hyper Key Ultraman Cosmos Luna Mode Key uh, has been revealed. The problem with this one, though, is that you cannot just normally buy it. If you want to get this, because it's celebrating Ultraman Cosmos 20th anniversary, you have to either buy the Ultraman Cosmos 20th anniversary t-shirt, or you have to buy a Guts Select member cap, Premium Bandai, so pick which one you want, you're paying 6,000 yen, you can either get a shirt or you can get a hat, but you're definitely getting the uh, Cosmos key. 
Last bit of regular toku before I get into the uh, giveaway and stuff. Japanese Spider-Man Flame Toys Tech Kaiser Leo Perdon has been revealed. So they're going to have a brand new toy line that's going to be called Tech Kaiser. This is Flame Toys, and remember they're also starting to do more Megazords. Like they're getting into a lot of different stuff, which I mean, hey, this could be a natural, you know, way to get into that. Uh, this is going to be Spider-Man's personal mecha. We don't have price release. Like we we don't have really anything on it. But they have teased that. Remember, they've also teased, like, the, the Red Ranger, getting another statue of him or something. So, there you go with that. I, uh, here's, here's the giveaway. Here's the thing. I'm going to be doing it on uh, Twitter, at least. So, go ahead and follow on there. I think I'm going to be starting it on uh, Friday. So, today, I guess maybe it's already going on. But I am giving away, this is for my personal collection. This is the Amy Jo Johnson autograph photo book uh this these were personally made from her uh, i got it in 2013 for the amy joe johnson vip experience i paid a lot of money to have a four hour vip with her and uh it is also it's autographed by her right here and these were just images like out of her own personal photos that she turned them into books and gave them out to guests at that event and i thought for a long time about should I sell it? Should I? What should I do with it? Uh, but I'm I'm just feeling like this needs to go to someone else. This needs to go to someone else who's gonna appreciate it a lot more than me. So I am going to give it away to one of you, and I will be announcing the winner on my fourth anniversary stream on National Power Ranger Day on YouTube. Uh, I'll have links and everything more below. But yeah, this is a uh, Amy Jo Johnson's Power Rangers photo book from 2013. I hope you guys enjoy the giveaway. Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, thank you to my Patreons, of course, for helping make this and all videos possible. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. And uh, let me know, I guess, in the comments what was your favorite thing about news for the week. But I'm going to get editing this. With any luck, I can have a relaxing Friday morning with some coffee, make a little thumbnail or whatnot, and get on with a pleasant weekend, which I hope you have. No one's told you today. I love you, and I think you are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video, Ranger Nation. Doodles.